Welcome back guys. So today we are changing the thermal paste on this RTX 3080. Now it is running a little hotter than the other cards and I've actually lost about three to four mega hashes. Okay. Uh, I, this one was a bit of a silicon lottery because obviously when I first, I, I had to clock it down to about 19, plus 1900 on Linux um, instead of 2400 like these other cards. So anyways guys, we'll get in there. We'll check the size thermal page this thing has as well so we can do a video on that as well. We can do some diagnostics in the future and we'll move forward from there. All right guys, I'm going to pull this card out, get it over to my bench and we'll get started on it. All right guys, so this is the 3080. Um, obviously, this, as I said, it's a blower style fan. Um, yeah, you can see the memory chips, as you can see, all sit here. But we're just changing the thermal paste on the main GP, uh, main GPU chip today. Um, so we'll start the tear down and um, we'll work our way through it. I'll talk you guys through it. I'll let you know the kind of things that you actually need to watch out for when you're doing this kind of stuff. So I'm just going to remove these first. Okay, so the main screws that we can see here. So you just need a Phillips head. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's one on the back, two on the back as well, on the back plate here. Not these four, just these two holding this casing down. So that will also need to come out. And then we'll remove the four for the heat sink. And then we can pull it apart. Now keep in mind, if you still got your card under warranty, it will void your warranty. Okay, so obviously, if you're using it to mine, I recommend that you do change your thermal pads and you'll do your thermal paste. Obviously, I'm unsure of what kind of thermal pads this one takes. We'll figure out what thermal pads we need and we can do another video on that another time. All right, so let's get straight into this. There we go. Okay, so you can see here, I'll show you guys. Get that one where it's supposed to go. Okay, so you can see here, I mean, look at, now I'll get this fan off. Just be careful with your fans. You want to make sure you have those right. So as you can see, look at how that thermal paste is on there. It's not a very clean covering all gaps. So we'll put that to the side. You also see, I'll try and show you on the camera here. Look at that. Look at how that is. It's not, it's not where it should be. Like it's 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 all over the shop. It's all over around it. It shouldn't be like that. I mean, yes, it should be on there, but it shouldn't be on all those little parts around the chip. It's just gonna cause issues. Um, and I believe. Okay. So you got these thermal pads here. This one obviously was gotten pretty hot. It's kind of stuck to those chips. And I mean, look at all this. But look at how dirty all this is. So that's definitely, definitely, definitely going to cause issues for us in the future. Okay. All right, so now I've just got a little chemical on here that removes um the old thermal paste so we're just going to remove that all right so as you can see it's coming off nice and easy now i like to try and get as much as i can off around the edges as well You want to make sure you get this all off. If you fail, when you pull a card apart, if you fail to remove all of the thermal paste and you try to just apply another thermal paste on top or you just try to stick it back together, you're going to run into issues, okay? Because it's not going to be that contact between the heatsink and the GPU that's required to keep it running cool and have that direct contact. All right, so I might just see if I can clean these up a little bit as well. All right, so I'm just going to clean these up and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've removed all the thermal paste off 
the heatsink and off of the main chip. Now in doing that, obviously we need to put new thermal paste on there, okay? So, but just before we do that, we're gonna measure how thick these ones are, because these are the main ones we, I wanna replace, because obviously this will help bring, I've heard the temperature can come down about 30 degrees Celsius on the memory modules, which obviously is something that I would like to, like to do. So I've got a little tool here that I'm gonna use. We'll see how, how thick these are. Now I've got one of these. You guys might have your own other methods of measuring your thermal pads. Okay, so obviously this is what I use. I'll just lift up the tiniest bit of thermal pad. Put it to where it needs to be. Okay. Well, there you go. So we've got two mils. So this is two mils. So we need to order some two mil pads. Um, let me just... Yeah, so we've got two mil pads and that's what we're gonna order to replace these. And obviously when I do that, I will obviously do another video on how to do the tear down, do the thermal paste and change the pads and then how to put it all back together and we'll do some testing and benchmarking on the GPU itself and we'll move forward from there. Okay, so obviously here is the next big bit. So I've just got some thermal compound here and we're just going to apply this. Now I like to put it in the middle. I mean obviously there's different ways of applying this but because it's a GPU, you really want to have full coverage. So I always put that on there. And then I use, I've just got one of these little buggers here. It just helps me spread it along the GPU on the chip. So that way, when I put it all back together, we have a perfect contact. And it'll save it from spreading where it shouldn't be spreading either. So obviously, I like to just apply, I'll add more as I need. The last thing you want is too much. And you really want to get it all the way to those edges. Super careful with this. Obviously, you want to make sure you have full coverage. All right, so turn that one off. Now, as you can see, it's very good. I'm just going to get this a little bit here that we spilt that came off as we. We'll moving it around. I mean, it's not a big deal. Okay. Now, as you can see, we've got full coverage on this GPU. So as you can see, it's full covered. I spread it out. You can put a couple of blobs there. There's a couple of ways of doing it. So you can just press it together, but this is the way I like to do it. If you have your own way of doing it, let me know in the comments. Okay, so now we're just obviously going to put this all back together now. That's all we've got to do. We'll plug it back in, make sure she runs, make sure everything's running okay. And we'll go from there. Okay. All right, guys. So, there we have it. So that's the whole thermal paste that's been changed on this card. We're going to order the thermal pads for this and we'll do some further testing on it as well. Um... No, sorry, I'll just do the thermal pads on this one. I have a lot more of these cards, okay? So I'd like to do a benchmark, a complete benchmark of changing thermal paste and the um, thermal pads to see how cool we can get one of these cards, okay? I know that the memory junk, I know the memory temperature likes to sit at about 102 to 106 at about 99 mega hashes. I mean, obviously, there's a big 
debate in the community at the moment about where it should be sitting. I personally think it should be at about 95 or less than 100. So that's what we're going to aim for in future videos. But this one here should be, this one here is done now, and obviously this one will stay a lot cooler than what it was on the core side of things. Um, and we'll work on the memory temperature later. Okay, so let's get this thing plugged back in and uh, we'll move forward. All right, guys, there it is. It's back in, running a lot cooler. As you can see here, we were having trouble with the mega hash before, but that's actually come up from about 93 to 97. Um, and you can see that we have the temperature set to about 55 degrees. But uh, you can tell that it's working a lot better as well because the fan speed's at 49%. It's brought it down. It's actually running a lot cooler than what it was. So I'm very happy with with the outcome of this. Uh, guys, if you've enjoyed my video, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.